Bacterial wilt is a uh, soil bond disease. It infects the plant from the soil and prevents uh, the plant accessing nutrients from the soil into the other parts of the plant by blocking the vessels that take the nutrients and water into the plant. And it leads to the wilting. That is the wilting of the plant. It looks like it doesn't have enough water. It doesn't have enough nutrients. So uh, because of that, the, uh, the potato is not able to uh, form the tubers, the, the potato that we eat. Once it, the plant is infected, you will get yields going down. And we estimate in Kenya the yield uh, uh, penalty or the yield losses due to this uh, disease is about 40% of uh, uh, the attainable yield. On average, a farmer is supposed to earn 40 tons per hectare. Uh, due to the bacterial wilt infection that is found in the soil or in the seed, they can only get between 15 and 20 tons per acre. Bacterial wilt cannot be controlled by use of chemicals. Currently, farmers don't have any other means of controlling this uh, disease. Uh, once their farm is infected with the bacterial wilt, they can only uh, do crop rotation. The other way is to have quality seed that doesn't have the disease. So what we are doing is to develop this quality seed using the modern biotechnology uh, methods that we're using so that farmers, whenever they get this seed, it doesn't get infected. Even if the bacteria is in the soil, it doesn't get infected because it will have inbuilt resistance towards the bacteria. At the moment, we have been able to confer resistance uh, through the modern biotechnology tool to uh, Shangi, which is a popular local variety in Kenya. Uh, we have managed to develop some uh, uh, lines or uh, varieties that have shown uh, good results and they are resisting the bacterial wilt. Uh, we are the, at the stage of uh, uh, tests in the, in, the, in the laboratory and the, in the greenhouse. And uh, we are hoping that uh, uh, based on the success of this, we are going to move into other popular varieties in Kenya and other popular varieties in other parts of Africa, like Ethiopia, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, Rwanda. And this will uh, see that uh, there is food and nutritional security in Africa. And also farmers are going to get more money in their pockets because they, they will have more food on their table and they will be able to sell and earn money that will come directly into their pockets. Mm -hmm.